One of the things that you've talked about a lot, and I think it's worth just expanding on here, is, your, is this, this notion that um, corporate values drive profitability. That it's not just um, how much you charge for a cup of coffee. Um, it is uh, Judy Samuelson, who introduced me and, and, and started this panel, um, is running an effort for the Aspen Institute about trying to rethink the idea that shareholder value is the only thing that matters. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that tomorrow morning on a panel. But it feels to me that you have uh, already gone in that direction and that how do you balance shareholder value with these other values, corporate values, that may not, in fact, maximize profitability? Uh, you know, for me, I, I've never seen it as a bifurcate, bifurcated question. I've always seen the two in parallel. Um, but you have to perform in order to do the things that we feel are necessary to give back to the communities we serve. Saying, saying it another way, though, is that um, we're living at a time right now where the level of trust and confidence in all institutions is at an all-time low. I think the, the approval rating of Congress is about 9.5%. I think the approval rating of banks and corporations is less than 20. Uh, people don't trust anything anymore, primarily because most things have let them down. Conversely, if a company, a brand, an institution shows up and does the right thing, that company is going to be accepted and embraced more, more often than not. Now, we're not the only company that's doing good things in America. But if you look at the companies that are, it wouldn't surprise you, it would, probably wouldn't surprise you, those companies have had great performance. And I think in large part, the equity of the brand and the trust that people have in what we stand for has been elevated by these initiatives. But you should, should also understand, we're not a perfect company. We make mistakes, we have challenges, uh, but we're going to yield, we're going to constantly try and yield on trying to do the moral thing and manage the company through the lens of humanity. Now, of course, if you stumble next year, a lot of people are going to say, well, Howard spent too much time trying to save the world and not enough time trying to take care of Starbucks. That would happen in a nanosecond, I'm sure of it. Uh, but, you know, I think I'm prepared for that, and, and, and at some point we probably will disappoint someone. Uh, but we're, we're going to continue to do these things because I, I think the, the overriding factor I like to communicate is I do not believe that any company in America can build a sustainable, enduring enterprise by just embracing profitability. For one thing, employees today want to work for a company that they trust, they want to be part of something larger than themselves, and they want to go home at night and share with their friends and family that they're proud of what the company stands for. The other thing is that the customers are going to reject those companies who have a singular goal about profitability. It's shallow, it's not sustainable, and success is best when it's shared. That's just a fact. 